say, Liam, Forest Green Rovers into the League Two playoffs. How does that feel, first of all, as an achievement? Um, and, like amazing to be fair. Like considering what happened last year, where you were fighting for a relegation, and this year turned it around, and to be in with a sniff of automatic was just something I don't think like the fans actually thought could have happened this year. Uh, but we all fully believed when we started in pre-season how good we were, and this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to be pushing to get promoted. And start of the season, when players like yourself were coming into the club, there was a lot of talk of we've come here because we want to get promoted. But at what stage in the season did you start believing actually this is something that could be a reality? I think it was the December run. I think it was when uh, I think it was at Yeovil. I think it was a little switch where we scored like we were one 0 down goals. and we scored two late goals. And then I think from then on, it was just like, you know, we, it's just, we, if we get a good run going now, then we're going to be in with it uh, with the sniff. It was obviously heartbreaking <coughs> not to, to clinch the automatics, but that was always going to be a long shot, wasn't it? Yeah, I th obviously, because obviously the position we were in at the time, uh, we were 3-1 up, it, you know, it, it was a kick in the teeth for us. It was, it took a couple of us, a couple of days to get over with it, but, you know, we realised we were in the playoffs and we needed to forget it quickly and focus on this. You had a bit of a rest on Saturday against Exeter, came off the bench late on. Uh, how important is preparation at this time of the season and making sure you guys are, are right there when it comes to your fitness and everything else? Yeah, definitely, because you know, it's going to take everyone. And you know, there's people might have been feeling a ha little hamstring tight, I don't know, you know, a little muscle which is tight, and having like two or three days off, you recover and then you're back, you're fully fit. And I think you know that's what we achieved on Saturday. We rested a lot of us and... <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> including myself. Um, it was nice to just, yeah, just to like f make sure I wasn't uh, fully out there putting everything on the line and making sure I'm ready for the game to come. It's your first Perth campaign. How important is the experience of other players around the squad, like Christian Deutsch, for example, who's been there like before? Are you going to lean on, on people like that, or how are you approaching it yourself? Oh, I take it as it comes. You know, there's, there's different people which probably might might need that experience with them but I'd, I'd rather learn for myself you know it's it's a it's all I, it's what I want to do in the playoffs you know I want to go up, like try and get up this way and I don't know it's just yeah I think it's it's good to have those players around there knowing that what it's like to go through it because it's probably going to be a stressful you know nervous and exciting time so yeah I think I'd rather just go through it all myself and You've, your smile says it all there when, when you're talking about the playoffs. You see Newport's reaction when they got into it last weekend, Doncaster at the weekend in the league above yeah. getting into it. This is where players want to be players, isn't it? Automatically, it's obviously very nice to do, but a playoff is, is, is the one. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I've spoken to a lot of uh, players before about who have gone up through the playoffs, and they always say it's the best way to go up. I just want to experience it, to be honest, and just see where it takes us. Tramville on Friday. Then, how are you guys looking forward to that one? Yeah, looking forward to it. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough game. You know, it's 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 two legs, and they are fighting to go up. We are fighting to go up. The adrenaline's gonna be you know pumping through us all, and anything can happen on the day. Um, they're a very good team, you know, and we know that. Um, we need to be at our best. Uh, we're gonna. I think it probably might probably be a full house, and the atmosphere there is always you know it's electric and then so we need to embrace that and just. See how that goes. And travelling support, it'll be important to try and get as many people. It's a tough one. Friday night, I don't think trains are running afterwards, but anyone who get up there would be a massive boost. Wouldn't yeah, it? definitely. You know, it's it's always nice, always good to have your fans here. And obviously, the more you uh, we get, the better it will be for us to. If we do come under the cosh, then you know our fans can start singing, and once you hear them, it kind of give you a bit of momentum, and we can push on. But yeah, it'd be nice to see a lot of our our fans here. And is it a bit like the league? You're just focusing on the one game to start with, and then once that's out of the way, you then look at the next one. Yeah, I think you have to. There's no point in looking ahead. You know, it's take game by game and just just see where we are after each game, and hopefully it's in a good way, and hopefully we get a good result or we get something that we want on Friday leading into the game here on the following Monday. This is something everyone should just be embracing, shouldn't it? We should be enjoying this this period. Yeah, you should be enjoying it, but it's you know in our uh, shoes, you know it's it's excitement and nervous feeling. You know, it's get the butterflies feeling, but it's just that's what you want, like you know. It's you you've got to embrace it.